everyone, this is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel, I hope you will like what you see. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create three French braids in one. These braids are very easy to do, so even the beginner can create the style. Beginning by creating the middle parting from the front of your head till the back. Brush the another side of the head with water. Then take the small piece of hair from the front and separate it in three equal pieces. Start to bring hair alternately over the middle one. Left over, add some hair from the left. Right over, add hair from the right side. Left over, add hair. After a few stitches, split the right side section for the first time and leave the half of the section out of the braid. Then bring it over the middle and add hair. Bring the left over and add some hair. When you are again on the right side, split the hair section and leave the half out of the braid. Bring the strand over and add hair. Next, bring the left strand over and add hair. On the right side, split the hair section, leave half out, add hair, and bring the section over to the middle. Then left over and add hair. On the right side, split the section, leave half out, bring the strand over and add hair. Then left over and add some hair. If you want to leave some accent hair out of the braid, don't forget to do it while you braid. I also pancake this braid a little bit to create some more volume. After that, keep on braiding like you did before. Added the whole section into the braid, keep on braiding without adding. You still need to leave some hair out of the braid, but leave on this point a little bit smaller sections so the braid won't get too tiny. Next, I create a similar braid on the other side. On this time, I only leave hair out of the left side. So take the first hair section and separate it in three pieces. Then start the braid, normal French braid, by bringing hair alternately over the middle. Add hair from the both sides of the braid. Right over, add hair. Split the left hair piece in two and leave the half out of the braid. Bring the left section over and add hair. 
then right over, add hair. Split left side, leave half out, bring the strand over, and add some hair. Right over, add hair. Split the left section, leave half out, bring the strand over, and add some hair. Bring the right strand over, add some hair. Split the left section, leave the half out, bring the strand over, and add some hair. Keep on repeating the same pattern. When you braided the right sided section into the braid, keep on braiding but leave little bit smaller sections out of the braid. Next, I create the third braid on the middle of these two. I use only the sections I left out on the two previous braids. Take the first sections from the both sides and cross them over each other. Add half of the next section from the left side and cross it again like this. Then take the half of the section on the right side and cross it again. Take again half of the section, bring it over and then from the right side, bring it over. Then take the small section from the left side and add some hair. Take the small section from the right side, bring it over and add some hair. Take a small section from the left side, bring it over and add some hair. Take the small section from the right side, bring it over and add hair. Take a small section from the left side, bring it over and add hair. Take a small section from the right side, bring it over and add hair. As you can see, I'm creating the French pistol braid to the middle of the two previous braids. This part makes the style very special, but it's not hard to do. Just add a hair on the both sides on the same place and make so that the crossing point of the strands is the same place where you have the middle parting. So twist braid will hide the middle parting but it's also the same lane you need to place this braid so it's on the middle. When you don't have more hair to add for the fistel braid, keep on braiding without adding as long as the braids are the same length. Secure the braid with an elastic. And the last but not least, I secure the two French braids behind the fistel braid so they will look like one single braid. And here's the final result.
Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it, and I will see you soon again.